This short video will show you how to calculate the magnitudes of the constant in the numerator of the transfer function. Before we start, you need to be able to compute the magnitude of simple transfer functions. So we'll start off with a real simple transfer function, s plus 1. Uh, the magnitude, um, you substitute i omega uh, for the s. That's what uh, this term on magnitude is doing. Uh, after you uh, substitute in s equal i omega, you're going to take the absolute value of it. This is how you do it in Mathematica. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is show what uh, the magnitude is at very low frequencies. In this case I'm going to take the limit as omega approaches zero uh, and then what I'm going to do is compute uh, that in uh, decibels uh, because that's what's being plotted in the Excel spreadsheet is decibels. So I take uh, the number, uh, take the logarithm of base 10, make sure that you're taking the LOG and not the LN uh, of that number and you multiply by 20. So what's in blue here is how you convert a number into decibels which you need to be able to do. Okay so to execute this uh, we define the transfer function and then we find the magnitude. The magnitude is simply the absolute value. Um, when you take the limit as omega goes to zero, this blue term disappears and you're simply left with the absolute value of one, which is what's given here. And then uh, if you convert one into decibels, you take the log of base 10 of one, which is zero. Zero times 20 is zero. So this is zero decibels. The amplitude is one. Let's change the transfer function a little bit. So we'll have S plus 10 which is now the transfer function and we'll do the same calculations that we did before. This time if you notice um, the absolute value the magnitude is 10 plus i omega if you take the limit at low omega uh, so this term disappears uh, you end up with 10. Uh, if you take the 10 and convert it into decibels log base 10 of 10 is 2 excuse me is 1 uh, so 10 to the 1 is 10. Um, it's, it's 1, so 1 times 20 is 20 dB. So uh, the magnitude is 10 and the number of dB is 20. So in summary, what's going to happen is the magnitude of a term is equal to that number right there for low frequency. So uh, suppose this term is in the denominator, 1 divided by uh, this term. So you have a transfer function that looks like this and we take the magnitude it's one tenth which you might have been able to expect. In this particular case uh, the fact that the 10 is in the denominator uh, it gets divided and then when you convert that uh, one tenth into decibels uh, you end up with uh, the log of one tenth is a negative 1. Negative 1 times 20 is a negative 20 decibels. If you have more complex um, terms, so for example if you have um, two terms that are multiplied together, s plus say uh, 100 So there's your transfer function. Find the magnitude of that. Uh, the magnitude is the product of the two. Uh, you might have expected that. Take the limit. And uh, so the, the uh, magnitude is simply going to be 10 uh, times 100, which is 1,000. And you can convert 1,000 into decibels by taking the log of 1,000. gives you 3. 3 times 20 is 60. So that's the number of decibels. So when you have a product like this, at low frequency, the magnitude is going to be this number, 100, times this number, 10. What do you think would happen if you had uh, a division right here? Well, what you 
should expect from the examples I'm giving is that it, the magnitude is going to be 100 divided by 10, which is in this case 10. Let's, let's make sure. So there's the transfer function. Find the magnitude. And the magnitude is, like I said, 10. You can convert that to decibels. The log of base 10 of 10 is 1. 1 times 20 is 20, so it's 20 dB. Okay, suppose you had a constant out front. So in this case, we'll say, uh, we'll change this to a 1, put a constant here of um, 100. Okay, so this is just simply three terms. So I would expect the magnitude to equal the magnitude of this one times the magnitude of this one divided by the magnitude of this one. So at low frequency, that's going to be a magnitude of 100 times 1 divided by 10, which will be a magnitude of 10. So let's see what I get. So at low frequency, your magnitude is 100 from, the, from this constant here. Uh, and then at low frequency, this term and this term disappear in the limit. Um, and so uh, your magnitude is simply uh, 100 times 1, 100 times 1 divided by 10, which is 10. Then you can convert that to decibels and get 20. The other thing that you might have to do occasionally is to convert from decibels back into a number. So for example, uh, the way you do that is let's take the number of decibels, 20, and convert that back into a number. So what I do is I take the number of decibels, you divide by 20, and then you take 10 and raise it to that power. So in this case, 20 divided by 20 is 1, 10 to the 1 power is 10. So that's the original number, and you can see that up here. Okay, so uh, let's say you had uh, a thousand. Oops, changed the wrong one, so we'll change here a thousand. So the magnitude should be 1000 divided by 10 or 100. And so there we go, the magnitude is 100, like you expect. The uh, number of decibels is 40, so uh, the log of base 10 of 100 is 2. 2 times 20 is 40. Let's convert that back. So you take 40 decibels, divide by 20, and then you take 10 to the power of that, and you end up with 100. So. Here is the number that corresponds to 40 dB, 100. Okay, so I'm going to pause and open up the uh, spreadsheet and show you how this is used to determine the constants in the transfer function. Okay, so here is a uh, Bode plot for a, a transfer function. The constant in the numerator is 10, so I'll pull up this uh, Mathematica file and show you what the, this transfer function is. The transfer function based on uh, what's typed in here is a constant of 10 uh, with two zeros at 1. So this would be s plus 1 quantity squared. And then you have uh, three poles all at 10. So I've got a, a cubed here. So that's the transfer function. And um, you can find the magnitude of this, uh, just like we did before. But anyway, that's the, that's the uh, transfer function right there that is corresponding to this. So let's kind of slide this out of the way. Okay. So what I'm going to, the first thing that you have to do uh, when you're trying to find the transfer functions is you find the S terms. There was a video that showed you that. So by looking at changes in slope, you're going to identify the fact that there is um, a zero term right here at s plus 1. Uh, the slope changes from 0 to 40, so I pick up uh, 40 decibels of uh, slope uh, per decade, so that means I've passed two zeros at s plus 1. So that's how you know that this is s plus 1 squared. 
The next thing is the slope changes here at 10. It becomes more negative and uh, so that means I've passed three poles, three things in the denominator at s plus 10. So there's your s plus 10. How many have I passed? Well, the slope goes from a positive 40 down to a negative 20, if you notice. So that went from 40 to 20 to 0 to negative 20. So it changed 3 times 20s. So there's three uh, s terms in the denominator. So what you, what you now know is you know that there is this term in the numerator and this one in the denominator. That was covered in a previous video. What I'm looking for now is the 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the magnitude at low frequencies that I see uh, from this transfer function. <clears throat> so basically, I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, all right, I know what my S terms are now. And because I know what my S terms are, uh, I know what the magnitude of my S term is. So for example, I have an S plus 1 in the numerator. At low frequency, that's going to give me a magnitude of 1. Uh, I have another uh, S term in the numerator, uh, S plus 1. At low frequency, that's going to give me a magnitude of 1. I have three terms in the denominator, so I'm going to divide by three numbers. Uh, the first number is 1 at 10, so it's going to give me a divide at low frequency a magnitude of 10. Uh, the next one is also 10, so it's going to give me a uh, divide by 10. Here's another S term of 10. So the, this is the magnitude I get from the S terms. In addition to that, I have in the numerator a, uh, a, a number which I'm going to call K, and I'm going to say I don't know what that K is. That's what I'm trying to find. So the constant that's in the front or in the top is K as a magnitude of k at low frequency, it's uh, the, the value of k. Uh, and this is equal to the magnitude of, uh, of the Bode plot at low frequency. Now what I want to know is what should this be equal to? So I'm going to look over here on the plot, and on the plot at very low frequency right here, you can see that the magnitude is a minus 40 decibels. So I'm going to use that information and I'm going to say, okay, this number I need to convert into decibels right here. Or I guess really what might be the easier thing to do is convert minus 40 decibels out of decibels and into a number. So here we go. So I'm going to take minus 40 decibels to convert it out of decibels. I divide by 20 and then uh, after I divide by 20, I take 10 and raise it to that power, negative 2. So the number is 1 over 100. So this uh, negative uh, 40 dB is a uh, 1 over 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, the magnitude up here is equal to 1 over 100. And so then I'm going to solve this for k. So there's an equation, and then I'm going to solve that, that thing, or k. And I get k equals 10, which is uh, the correct value. Okay, let's do another example. What I'm going to do is change the transfer function. So let's let this one be uh, 10, a 0 at 10, a pole at, um, let's see, um, you know, make it uh, 100. Uh, another pole at, uh, say, um, 1,000. And a pole at uh, 0.1. There we go. All right, so uh, here's a uh, transfer function. And uh, you're looking at, let's see, uh, okay, so this one's good. So uh, the first thing you do is you look for your zeros. You can see that there is or your S terms. Here's an S term here at S of 0.1. It's in the denominator. And then here's an S term uh, in the numerator at S plus 1. Here's another numerator term at S plus 10. And then here's a denominator term at S plus 100. 
and uh, unfortunately I didn't I didn't plot enough uh, values here. Uh, I think I can change that easily. Let's see, number of cycles, change this 5 to a 6. There we go, okay. So, um, a denominator term at s plus 0.1, a numerator term at s plus 1, numerator at s plus 10, denominator at s plus 100, denominator at s plus 1000. So there's my s's. So now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for this uh, constant in front, uh, which is, we'll, we'll make that a, let's say 20 in this case. So 20. All right, so there we go. We'll make it a little more exciting. The s's didn't change. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, pull up the, um, yeah, now see it's going to be hard to read, but anyway, uh, yeah, let's make this instead of 20, let's make it an even 100. There we go. Okay, so now it's nice and easy to, to read. On exams, I'll make them easy to read uh, like this. Okay, so let's pull up the, uh, the uh, Excel, and what I have is a... Uh, the transfer function is uh, 100. Um, well, okay, let's let's just use this one here. Okay, so let's go in and calculate what the low frequency amplitude of this transfer function is. Well, there's a k which I don't know. You, you can see from the spreadsheet it's 100, but uh, at this point I'm pretending I don't know that. Uh, I have a magnitude in the numerator of uh, s plus zero. It's going to be a um, it's going to give me a low frequency magnitude of 10. I have another uh, numerator term, which is s plus 1. So that will give me a low frequency amplitude of 1. Uh, in the denominator, I have a low frequency amplitude of s plus 100. That's going to give me 100. Uh, another denominator term is uh, s plus 1,000. That's going to give me a 1,000 in the denominator amplitude and also in the denominator of 0.1. And then I need to know what this is equal to. And so uh, I have to read that off the chart. So off of the chart, I can see that uh, at low frequency, the uh, amplitude is a negative 20. I'll read that right here off this chart, right there. Off the chart, it's a negative 20 decibels. So I want to convert negative 20 out of decibels. So negative 20 is decibels. Divide by 20. So negative 1. And I'm going to take 10 raised to the negative 1, which is 1 tenth. So the magnitude here is equal to 1 tenth. This equals 1 divided by 10. Hit enter. So there's my equation, and I'm going to solve that equation for k. k is 100, which is the constant term right there. So that's how you determine the constants. One last thing I'll show you is uh, when you have a um, either a pole or a zero at uh, s plus zero. So it looks uh, like this. Uh, what happens here, if you look at the magnitude of a transfer function, when uh, it's just a, a nest term. So we'll wipe this out. We'll put in transfer functions s. Uh, and I'm looking for the magnitude of that. So here we go. So what you're going to do is put in s at uh, uh, 1. Take the limit, it becomes infinity. So the problem that you're going to have with this is that at uh, if you have a term of s plus zero, either in the numerator or in the denominator, and you try to take it at, at the very low frequency where omega is zero, you're going to end up with a crazy number of negative infinity. You can't take it at that value. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take the magnitude at the frequency that you can read off the chart. So for, And you can pick any frequency you want best thing to do is to choose the lowest frequency that's on your on your chart. So in this particular case, instead of uh, taking the limit at omega equal uh, to zero, you're going to choose, uh, in this particular case, omega equal 0.01. Now, if you look at the magnitude of the s plus zero term, which is what we have here, notice that the magnitude is simply uh, the value of the, of the frequency. That's the magnitude 
for one of these terms. Okay, so uh, to do this one, the transfer function that you that you have here, um, I come back up here and I say, okay, I want to find the magnitude of this. So the magnitude is uh, a constant k, which I'm pretending I don't know yet. Uh, I have a uh, s plus 10 term, so I'm getting this times 10. I have an s plus 1 term, so I'm getting it times 1. Uh, in the denominator, I have an s plus 100, which is giving me a divide by 100. I have an s plus 1,000, which is giving me this one here. And in addition to that, I have an s plus 0. The magnitude of that at low frequency is simply omega. So divide by the, uh, the frequency. So now what I'm going to do is I need to know what is the, this thing equal to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to look at this uh, chart. And uh, at the lowest frequency that I can see, at a frequency of 0 0.01, I can see that uh, the amplitude is 0 decibels. 0 decibels corresponds to, let's convert that out, so 0 dB is uh, 0, and then I'm going to take 10 to the power of 0, which you can probably do in your head. 1. So this magnitude right here at omega equal 0 0.01 is equal to um, equal to 1. So the magnitude equals 1. Now if you're going to solve this you have two unknowns. Well no not really because you read uh, 1 dB when omega is equal to 0 0.01. So I know this omega is equal to 0 0.01. Okay, and uh, so that's my equation. And then you simply solve for k. Which is equal to 100. And that's the value you get right there. Okay, so let's do another one. We'll set a, a 0 equal to an s plus zero and we'll set this pole here to be a uh, pole at s plus one okay so here's your uh, chart and uh, whoops uh, let's see we'll pull up uh, this thing and uh, we'll put in the magnitudes All right so I start off with k which I'm pretending I don't know um, and uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. I don't know why it didn't update. But now it's updated. And let's go over here. Okay, so now you can see that there's an s plus zero here uh, because of the positive slope. But anyway, uh, there's a constant k, which is 100, but I'm pretending I don't know that. Uh, and then in the numerator, I have a magnitude of s plus 10, so at low frequency, that's going to be a magnitude of 10. I have another one at s plus uh, 0, uh, and at low frequency, that's going to be uh, a magnitude of omega. Uh, at uh, the poles, so I have a divide by, I have an s plus 100 at low frequency, that's going to be a magnitude of 100. I have another pole, so I divide again. It's at 1,000, so I'm going to divide by 1,000. I have another pole at s plus 1, so it will be a magnitude of 1. I'm going to set this equal to, uh, and I'm going to read it off the chart. I'm going to go over here and find the lowest frequency that's on the chart, and I'm going to put in the, the uh, magnitude. So I look at the chart. It looks like a negative 80 decibels. So what I'm going to do is uh, convert 80 decibels back into a number. So 80 divided by 20. So I'm going to raise 10 to the 4 power, 10,000. So this thing should equal 10,000. 10, 1, 2, 3, 10,000. Okay. Now again, do you know what the omega is? Yes, I do. I read it off the chart. It's the a magnitude of 10,000. Let's see. Uh, that was a negative 80 dB. Sorry. Minus 80 dB negative 4 
10 to the minus 4 is 1 over 10,000. All right, so this is 1 over 10,000. Okay, so do you know what omega is? Yes, I do. I read it off over here, and I said uh, when omega equals 0 0.01, the frequency was equal to, or when the frequency is 0 0.01, the magnitude is negative 80 dB. Could you choose this point right here, omega of point? Well, of course you can. Um, but what you typically want to do is be as low frequency as possible so that none of the other S terms have much influence over it. So anyway, uh, that's why I chose that one. But you could, you could pick any point along uh, in here before the first uh, S term that you have. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, the frequency is 0.01. So I'm going to put in uh, here for the omega uh, point. 0, 1. All right, so I'm going to say enter. That gives me an equation for k, and I solve the guy for k, and I get k equals 100, which is that value right there. So that's how you determine the, uh, uh, the constant terms in your transfer function.